this point in my life, I look around at the people that I call my best friends, and I, I realize that that core group of guys that I keep in closest contact with are, are men that share the common love of white-tailed deer and managing property and love for land. And it's no mistake that, that those network of friends just sort of develop over years and just having common interests and goals and dreams and aspirations just keeps us united. One of those relationships was with Martin and Matt Duffy from New Haven, Illinois, owners of the Country Lodge. And if you guys watch the show at all, you might remember and have seen Bell, my shed antler dog. And we have taken Bell down to Matt's property every spring and done our annual shed hunt. And we've had some really great times in covering those river bottoms. Good girl, Bell. Take a picture with Dang, that's an old one too. Good job. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. And it's nothing for us to find upwards of 40 to 50 sheds in a weekend and having a great time doing it with guys that either have hunted with Matt in the past that come back or just guys that uh, just love deer and want to be a part of it. Through those years, I, I never had the opportunity to, to actually hunt with Matt. And in 2016, last year, I was fortunate enough to harvest uh, deer on my own home farm in Indiana um, on October the 13th, which was something I hadn't done that early in a long, long time, and it gave me the opportunity to consider doing some other hunts. Matt and I talked, and one thing after another led to arranging me to come down and hunt with him on the weekend of after Thanksgiving. Meh. a ghost he stood out there at 40 yards just picking apart every little sound and smell in sight as I jacked with this camera trying to get the uh, to switch from manual focus to autofocus with one hand had me all shook up Oh, I hate self-filming. <laughs> I don't even know that I got it on there. That hit looked really good right there though. Really, really, really good. <laughs> the celebration began. It wasn't just maybe 20 minutes. Matt was out and we, we stood around and talked about him and he began showing me fit phone pictures of uh, trail cam pics that he had saved this deer all the way back to 2011. So. And, and at that time, the deer was probably at least two and a half years old, and Matt thinks he might even have pictures back to 2010. 
So the distinguishable characteristic of this buck was a, a really tall extra curved brow tine on one side and a, and a big wide tall frame. And he really blew up in 2015 and 16 uh, from 140 inch eight pointer to ended up scoring 154 inches gross, 152 to 154 netted just under 150. Hey, Lace. You see him? <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> Look at that! Oh my gosh, man! Look at that frame! <laughs> what a! What a giant! <laughs> <laughs> Gosh almighty! What a beautiful buck! I can't believe it. I'm still in <clears throat> disbelief. That is the biggest deer I've ever killed right there. <laughs> so awesome. And probably the oldest. We had a great time sharing in the memories and going through the old photos and and I got to hang around a camp and saw a couple other great deer being taken that week what what a good time and um, just it, it really makes me at this time of year just look back and and understand the value of the people that I have in my life and the friendships and that common bond of hunting deer and managing deer and it's something special and I, I just I wouldn't trade it for the world and uh, I think that's uh, what life's all about is having great family and great friends and uh, I'll just leave it at that. Sacred.